Hi. Let me in. Let me in. Hey everyone, Awesome Anthony here. I bet you didn't recognize me with the new haircut and the fact that I got rid of this pathetic attempt at facial hair that I was doing here. You know what? I really can't think of another clever intro, so let's just jump right into the meat and potatoes of it. So here's the thing. Avengers Endgame is going to be one of the biggest movies of the year, if not the entire decade. If you're excited for it, and who isn't? Snap that like button. The movie is concluding everything that's come before it in the MCU, starting with Iron Man back in 2008. It's on... It's on track to make... It's on track to make $300 million at the US box office just on opening weekend and $800 million worldwide. God damn it! It's also tripled pre-sales for Infinity War. Everyone is going to see this movie. If they aren't gonna see it opening night on that Thursday, you can bet your ass they're gonna try to see it opening weekend. Why? Because of these magic words. SPOILER ALERT! It's no secret that people on the internet are awful, especially when it comes to spoilers. Trolls are called trolls for a reason. And even then, people don't even need to be trolls. You can be accidentally spoiled for something. Wow, what an ending! Who'd have thought Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father? Ah, oh, thank you! Well, thank you, Mr. Blow the Picture for me. If your butt is not in a seat within that crucial span of the first few days, you'd better be prepared to do a total social media blackout. That's exactly what I'm doing, especially considering the movie opens a day earlier in all the other countries except for the US. The moment the clock strikes midnight on Monday, April 22nd, I am logging out of all my social media. That's right, you heard me correctly. I'm gonna be totally dark and log out on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and Facebook. I don't have a Tumblr, so we don't have to worry about that piece of shit website. I may not even do a video that week. So rumors started circling a few weeks ago that the date that all the tickets would go on sale for Avengers Endgame would be April 2nd, and that they would go on sale at 8 a.m. Eastern time. So why was no one prepared? Story time. The date was April 2nd, 2019. The time was 6.45 a.m. My alarm goes off, and I immediately start checking the AMC app for tickets. Why was I checking AMC? Well, you've seen before, I have videos about why I'm on the AMC A-list. I love it, and I figured that's the best way to get my tickets. I can get one free for myself, and I can get five more for my friends. The showtimes have been visible for a few days already. It was just a matter of staying vigilant and being on the ball so that you can purchase those tickets the second they're available. Like I just said, I have AMC A-list. I was gonna look at Dolby and then IMAX just to make sure I could get those tickets. Finally, 755 rolls around. Avengers finally moves from the coming soon slash remind me now section of the app to the advanced tickets buy now section. I immediately tap on the showtime I want. What do I see? Every time is sold out. Tickets to Avengers Endgame. And the tickets just went on sale. In a panic, I hurry to my laptop and go immediately to Fandango. I select my showtime and get placed in a five minute wait time for tickets. Five minutes, I can do that, it's worth it for endgame. When the five minutes are up, what happens? It still says sold out. At this point, I'm in a full on panic. Victoria wakes up because she hears me freaking out and she starts looking online to check for tickets too. But AMC's website keeps crashing. I go back and refresh the app over and over again, but still no luck. It seems like I'm just not gonna get these tickets. I'm not gonna see it opening night, I'm gonna have the movie spoiled for me and one of the greatest experiences of this decade is going to be ruined. Luckily. I catch a glimmer of hope on Fandango. A single 3D showing for a local Regal Theater is still on there. What do I see? Six seats right in a row of each other. I bought them all immediately. Thank God. I wasn't able to do a free reservation or get my stubs points with AMC A-list, but at least I'm going to see the biggest movie of the decade on opening night. Plus, if I'm gonna pay for any movie this year, I am 100% okay with it being this one. Feeling intense relief, I head over to social media. That was a mistake. What a storm. Everywhere I'm seeing reports of AMC customers that are pissed, especially from people that are in the AMC A-list program. Many people took the alternate route like myself and just went on Fandango and purchased tickets for different theaters. But unfortunately, many were not so lucky. Can we get some Fs please? So what the hell went wrong here? Well, I'll give you two reasons. Number one, Fandango. Fandango had these tickets on sale a full 5, 10, 15 minutes before everywhere else did. What? But you can't do this to me. 
You know how much I sacrificed? With absolutely no warning. As far as we were all concerned, the tickets went on sale at 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. So by the time people got into the AMC app or the website for their specific theater when tickets dropped at 8 a.m., showings were sold out almost everywhere across the board. Plainly, this is just unfair. For people like me who have been waiting weeks to buy tickets with reminders and alarms set up the freaking wazoo, this just felt like a slap in the face. Many reports I've seen of people who actually did manage to get their tickets for AMC, they were on websites like Fandango 15 to 20 minutes before 8 o'clock when AMC was nowhere even close to showing that the tickets were available yet. I am not sure whose fault this is, but it's really just not okay. Reason number two. AMC just was not prepared. Look, this is Avengers Endgame, the sequel to Infinity War, one of the highest grossing and most popular films of 2018. This is the end of the current iteration of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for f**k's sake. At this point, that franchise has a net worth of almost 20 billion dollars, if not more. But come on, that's a lot of <laughs> Like I said before, Endgame is on track to make 800 million dollars worldwide opening weekend. Like I said, everyone is going to see this movie. <laughs> So why wasn't AMC better prepared? As much as I love A-List, the app is not foolproof and both the app and the website have had their share of technical issues. Servers are what are used to allow millions of people to communicate with the service and their content. The more servers you have and the stronger they are, the better it's gonna be that your service works all the time and that there's no issue. So where were the fortifications? Why was no one prepared? AMC servers were simply not ready for the huge influx of people that were looking to buy tickets for this guy movie. No! They can joke and make references to Thanos snap all they want, but the fact of the matter is that AMC should have at least had a team, if not one individual person, looking into fortifying these servers and making them stronger for this date exactly. They should have definitely been keeping track of the box office tracking or at least just the popularity for Endgame. I mean, the first trailer broke all kinds of records. If this had been the case, the issue could have been avoided. AMC could have prepared by strengthening their servers or installing more of them, and people could have gotten their tickets without a hitch for the theater that they wanted. Don't they remember what happened when tickets for The Force Awakens dropped? <laughs> I could sit here and complain all day, but the fact of the matter is that I'm really grateful that I was able to get tickets for this movie. Plus, a final trailer dropped for Endgame the morning the tickets went out, and it's pretty freaking great, I gotta say. I'm so hyped and excited for this movie that if I can see it in any capacity on opening night, I'll still be happy. Still, not everyone was as lucky as me, and it's upsetting that this experience wasn't optimized and more better... And it's upsetting that this experience wasn't better optimized and planned for. Some great memes came out of it though. If you were able to get your tickets, please leave a like below. If you weren't able to get your tickets, please leave a comment and tell me what happened. I'm Awesome Anthony, and this has been another Awesome Ant Rant. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to subscribe. I'm at 34 subscribers right now, and I would love whatever help I can get to bring that number up. That being said, this isn't for the subscribers for me. I just love doing these videos. I love being able to be creative and put that out there. So I really appreciate all the support I'm getting from everybody. Also, make sure to ring the bell to be notified of my future videos and share with whoever's still here after that step. Breaking news update. After spending most of that day on Fandango, my best friend was able to get tickets for AMC and IMAX. He was very patient and stayed on Fandango for a really long time, almost like three hours. Eventually he got through and realized that yes, after everything was handled with the crashes, there actually were showtimes available. What I said earlier about all the shows being sold out, that was either an issue with the crash or that must have been like a placeholder thing so that not all the tickets would go out right away. That's kind of bull in and of itself because the fact that all of these showings were supposedly sold out immediately was a ruse. It's kind of infuriating, but I'm just thankful that we got tickets for IMAX because like the Russo said, if you're gonna see this movie, you gotta see it in IMAX. AMC still needs to get it together, but I'm happy. Stay awesome.